Hello everybody. Here we see a big traveling column machine from the company MTE. On this machine we want to demonstrate how to use our ProLine 200 or ProLine 300 for a straightness measurement. So thanks to MTE for letting us do this in their showroom here in Montabaur. Let's start with our measurement parts which we have in our case here. For the, for the beginning we will have a look at our T430 self-leveling sweep laser, which we already saw in the theoretical part of this training. This laser is our main part for solving this measurement task. So let's have a closer look. So we see here this laser, which is pretty easy to use. It has two buttons. With the first one, we just start the laser. And now we have a laser beam, the standing laser beam, and we have our laser plane on the side which is resulted from the prism here inside. With the second button, we can activate and deactivate the leveling and the rotation of the prism. Besides that, we have the power supply on the side. So here's a little button with a battery shown next to it. When you press it once, the battery compartment will open a little and you can just release the battery and put a new one back inside again. So, Normally, we'd say one or two hours charging will lead to six to eight hours measurement. On the side of the laser, there are three feet, which allows us to use it like this as well. And now we can see on the bottom of the laser our already mounted interface plate. So this interface plate is a part of our toolkit. The toolkit will you see you will see in another video especially but right here now we see a part of the toolkit already this is our angle mounted on our on our magnet and we will use this now for measuring the x axis so we can take our laser now and put it inside of our magnet and our angle like this tighten it up and now it's fixed what becomes very handy during measurements is that you now have the possibility to align the laser in the height. You will see this is pretty nice when doing measurements on a machine. We have this little hand, uh, manual here, especially for measuring traveling column machines. You can check if you want to. We are right now want to do the measurement M1. So maybe you, you can see in our documents this um, manual and check for other measurements which can be done on traveling column machines like this one here. Our next main part is our laser detector R540. This is a two axis detector. That means the incoming laser beam will be detected in, in the side and in the height as well. So we measure two degrees of freedom with this part. This laser detector has two screws on its top. We can unscrew them to put a new battery inside or release the old one. And you see the battery is the same as in our other products. So just put it inside, screw the compartment back to it, then there's a button in the back of the detector which you can press for starting the detector and that's it. For now, we have our little adapter plate screwed and mounted on the detector. With this adapter plate, we can now use um, our little fixture here with these two columns to put the detector to our spindle head. So you see, this is very easy and fast way to bring your detector on your spindle. And now we even have the possibility to align it in the height as well. So now we can just start the laser by pressing the on off button. We can put the laser in the level. We see now it's slightly moving here for finding its best position for its little uh, level inside of it. Now we see we have here the little laser beam. I will adjust the height a little bit. So now we see our laser beam on the detector cap. Now we can just go a little bit to the side for aligning it a little better like this. <clears throat> and now we see that our laser beam is in the middle of our little cap here in front of the laser detector. And 
Now we can start with the alignment, but before we do that, of course, we will put our D140 laser detector on the T430 laser, because this one will detect the position of our measurement head, of our spindle head. So we will detect the straightness in the height and in the side, and this guy here tells us where are we measuring right now. Is it zero millimeters, 100 millimeters, 200 millimeters, and so on. So this device is pretty easy to use. You see, you have in the front your aperture where the laser comes out, and you can just um, turn this little cap here to 180 degrees to release the battery and put a new one inside of it. Then just turn it again to 180 degrees, and you will see that you can use it now. In the back is a little button for putting, us, putting it on and off, or switching it on and off. We did it right now, and this has three feet on its uh, bottom as well for, ha for having a good stand. And one of these feet is movable by a screw, so we can use it for alignment. And this screw will fit into a little hole on the top of our T430 laser. So you will see when I put it on this, now it's here fixed and I can only move this for the alignment. So pretty nice for the doing. The laser beam of the D140 will be here. So we use the R540 as our target for this measurement. So now I have right now here my colleague, Bernd Kuszynski with me. He's assisting me a little bit by moving this machine. So Bernd, please move the x-axis a little bit because we now want to check if the alignment uh, is good or if we have to align the laser. So let's see what happens here. So in fact, right now we see that uh, the laser beam is moving a little bit to the side. So now we can do a little rough alignment by simply moving the laser itself. Okay, Bernd, should be enough for the beginning. So now I just go to the laser and realign a little bit so that the beam will be in the middle, in the middle of my center cap. Okay, Bernd, please um, go back. I just aligned the laser detect uh, the distance meter a little bit. Okay. So now the rough alignment is already finished. Now we can turn to the software for our fine adjustment. So we just release our center cap or we take our center cap away because now the laser beam is going directly into our PSD sensor in the R540. And now we will go to the software. We see right here our so-called launch pad. And in the launch pad, we can now start the laser tool by just pressing the button with the laser on it. We see here laser tool. And in the laser tool, we now can adjust the laser so that it is nearly perfectly parallel to my x-axis, which I want to measure. So we want to measure a straightness. So we have to align it for a straightness. So we just click straightness. We see the laser is already connected for the detector. I just press once on its symbol. And now we see that we see the values here of the detector. We are now very near to the laser. So we set the values to zero by just pressing zero. And now my colleague will drive again with the axis to a far position of the laser. And we now can see in the fine adjustment the misalignment of the laser. We see we have an X and a an Y value. The laser is currently leveled, so the Y value is the misalignment of the machine to the water. We will align the laser in both axes. Okay, that's, that's enough for the uh, movement of the X axis. Now I activate the Control X and Control Y button, and we will see now what is happening. The software is communicating with the laser and is moving the little step motors inside of the laser so that the measurement values of the R540 detector will be set or will be going around zero. So now we see that there are only a few microns left. That is to this is totally enough, so I deactivate this. And we go back to the beginning to check if we still have zero. Like in the theoretical part set, um, we try to align it to a range like 100 times about the tolerance which we want to measure here. 
So let's say we want to measure in a range of a micron, which is possible with this system. We try to arrange or try to align this system around about 100 microns. So we see now at the end of the x-axis, we had around about zero microns. And now we have here something like 80 microns in y, in y and way less in x. So the alignment is completed. That's it. And we see within five minutes, the alignment is done. So we now can close the laser tool software and start our ProLine software. Because with this software, we want to do the measurement. So for some experts of you, we can also add a digital spirit level. You may have already seen a system like this. They are commonly or typically used for aligning machine tools. But we can use this now, put it on our axis as well, like I'm doing right now here. And this level is now connected via Bluetooth to our software as well. So now we not only measure the side and the height, but also the roll error as well. So we measure currently three degrees of freedom with one measurement. So now, before starting the measurement, we will shortly check our configuration. We check the measurement mode and see, okay, we want to do it with a distance trigger. That means when the machine comes to a standstill, the measurement is triggered automatically. So I only have to activate the measurement once and everything else is done automatically. I check my axis control. We see we're measuring a side and a height. I think that's fine. But of course, it would be possible to write here um, Y and Z instead of side and height. So you can do it as you like. So the configuration is complete and we can in fact start the measurement. And you will see now that the first values will be set automatically to zero, except of the level. The level I can put manually to zero. And now I will ask my kind colleague if he can drive with the axis a little bit. He's doing it, as you can see, on the values. And you see now, I am doing nothing. The axis stands still, and automatically the measurement is done. And after the little circle is completed, we can go to the next position on my axis. I just will make the values a little bit bigger, then it's more easy to read for you. Okay, now uh, right around about every 500 millimeters, we are taking measurement values, but of course, it's not necessarily 500 millimeters. You can go every step as you want, 200 millimeters, 100 millimeters, or even 37 millimeters, as you like. So we will just take a few more points here, And during the measurement, I can already activate the best fit alignment, as we see here. It's this button here. When I do this, the software automatically looks for the best alignment of my measured axis for the best straightness. So the opposite would be an endpoint zero method. So that means that I put a zero on the first point and a zero on the last point. This is one method, and the other method is the best fit method. Okay, let's take one more point, and then I would say it's enough. Okay, now you can see at our x value here that we measured until around about 2,600 millimeters, and it's okay now. So we deactivate the measurement, we save the measurement. We should always do this before doing anything else to prevent loss of data. So we just call it measurement number four, simply because I did three measurements prior to that measurement. We say it's measured by Kellerman, that's my name, and in the comment we just say MTE, because like I said, it's an MTE machine, and we're currently here in the showroom of MTE in Montabaur. So thanks again, MTE, for letting us filming here. So now we saved it. And after we saved it, we now can have a look inside of the software about our values. We see here our two charts. Maybe what is a little bit easier, when we go to the table, we can see directly for the side values in the first um, line here, the maximum value, the minimum value, and the range, as an example here, 34 microns. 
Of course, we see it in a table as well. So you see here our measured positions. You see here the measured values for sight, height, and of course the roll as well. And with the roll, what is very interesting is we have even a three-dimensional view, which we can use for getting a better understanding of our machine bed. So right now you can see what is our machine bed doing. This can help extremely when aligning a machine bed. So the last step would be to make an export. For the export, I will make the values a little bit smaller, maybe like this. So now I can press on the button with the arrow again, and we have here the CSV button. By pressing it, we will get to this um, monitor here, and now we can choose a path. I recommend leave it like it is. Press the CSV button again, and now a folder will be created where we have an Excel file and a PDF file, and the PDF file will be opened automatically, like you can see right now here. And in this PDF file, we see straightness measurement report. We see that the date and the time is included automatically. We see measured by, we see the name, the comment. Of course, we have our two axes in the two-dimensional way. We have our three-dimensional way and we have our table with all the values you need. So we hope we could show you how easily and fast a straightness measurement with our ProLine 200 or ProLine 300 system can be done.